Okay, our next section would be the courses section. So once again, get back to our layers panel and get to the, the degree section. Now we can start off again with the text. I think I want to keep doing it that way. So with the text selected, we're just going to drag it over again. Make sure we have our 15 pixels there. And it looks like this text is going to fit very well here. Um, I don't know if I want it larger. I think I want it consistent. So I'm going to go ahead and transform this again. So let's go ahead and we're going to make this a little bit smaller. So we try to make it approximately the same as the one above it. That looks pretty good. We could drag it on top of it to see if it's exactly the same. That was, would be one way to do it. Um, the 15 pixels is there. So again, if we go over to the properties, we can set that at 15. Again, it's all about consistency for me. So that's there. Um, I don't know. Maybe that could be centered, but for this particular design, I'm going to leave it like that. And you would have to play around with it to see what you want to do. Okay, so again, next we would have the this image here. Wow, I keep doing that a lot. Let's go ahead and transform that and make that 290. And let's see if we can get 15 pixels from the top. Almost at it. There it is. And properties, all really close there. 15. So there's our degrees. There's our about. And all we have left is the contact and the footer. So again, with the contact, we can go ahead and we're going to have to use the box again to start with. And we may or may not have to move that from there. But set our 15 pixels from there. And then we're probably going to have to stack the fields on top of each other is what I did here. Okay, so let's go ahead and move the fields or the, the type to start with. So here is our contact us type. I'm going to drag this up here. And again, 30 pixels because we have 15 and 15 there. And I'm going to transform this and make it 290. And then we could do 15 pixels from there again. I think there's a little extra there, so I'm going to leave that. It looks like it's centered there to me. OK, so let's go and look at the fields here. So I'm going to copy both the fields. And I'm going to just drag them over here. And get 15 pixels there. And then I'm going to transform them. Make sure they're 290. And then again, the properties. Oh, we got to do one at a time, probably. 15. And the other one, 15. And there we go. Those are nice. 
Now we need to do is put the type in there. We could actually put the type inside the field. Um, that's a perfectly valid way of doing it. So, especially with, with a lack of space. Okay, I don't. Okay, so we're going to have to move these so we can see them. And we're going to have to drag them on top there, and we're also going to have to put the message on top of the field. So let me move that there. And then the message, probably center it. Again, as long as we're consistent as to where we have them set, 15 pixels, close enough, it's not going to let me do it, then I will mess with it later, but that's a line there. So there's our email and message. Um, contact us is good, and now we can start with the footer. And again, with the footer, we're going to start with the box. Let's turn this other stuff off so it's not distracting us. And we need to make sure that that box is 15 pixels from here. So it doesn't look like it's going to give it to us. That means we're going to have to turn the grid back on. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. It's way easier to see the grid when we're zoomed in. And then from here, we can see there is 5, 10, 15. So that looks good. Let's zoom out, see how that looks. Turn off the guides. Looks awesome there. And now all I have to do is put the text and the social media icons in the footer. So again, zoom back in. And then turn on social media icons. And then we need to also get the text in there. And we might have to stack these on top of each other. There it is. OK, so in order for this to fit in here, I'm gonna, it looks like I'm going to have to transform the text somewhat, um, which is, again, is not a problem. I want to do it equally, though. So let's go ahead and select both these layers. Go ahead and transform. And I want to make it at least small enough to where I have enough room around the Facebook. Um, that looks good. The type is centered within that. So the 2016 is going to have to go up a little bit. So that's centered between both of those. And then over my 15 pixels. So let's zoom out and see how that looks. See it one to one. Okay, each design. There's my mobile design. I like the way that looks there. All that looks legible. Everything's lined up. Got the footer in there, Facebook icons. I think we're good to go. And so from there, we take these designs and then we create web pages from them. And that concludes this lesson of developing mockups in Photoshop using artboards for responsive web design.